Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I thought it'd be pretty interesting to take a look at some of my uh, top 10 personal favorite pop figures that I own. And uh, I don't have all of my all-time favorites. I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Like, uh, oh, I really like uh, Teddy from Bob's Burgers, but I, I don't have that one. However, these are the top 10 that I have. All right, coming in at the number 10 spot, we have Chili Willy. I don't know really why this is one of my top 10 favorites. I just really like how it looks. And uh, yeah, I don't even think I've ever looked at the back of this. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he's number 486. And if you think I'm taking him out of the box to show you guys, you would be mistaken because <laughs> I'm not one of those people who likes to take their pop figures out of the boxes. All right, coming at the number nine spot, we have Keith Haring. He's one of my uh, all-time favorite artists, so it was really cool getting his pop figure. And it's from a 2019 fall convention exclusive that I got at, I think, BAM at my cousin's house. Coming in at the number eight spot, we got a big boy right here. Oh, we got big man, Kool-Aid man. He's a 10 inch that I got at Target. Uh, one time, me and my uh, friend Simon, we went out to uh, go to Target and just, you know, mess around and stuff. And I saw the Kool-Aid man there. I was like, oh, I got to get this. So, yeah, that was a pretty good story behind him. We had a really fun night that night. And, yeah. Oh, I did not see that. I don't like that that much, but yeah. Uh, all I got to say about this one is, oh, yeah. Coming in at the number seven spot, we had another big boy. Big man Mewtwo. Once again, he's a Target exclusive, and my mom... Oh, what happened? Oh, what's that? His ear got bent or something. Eh... I don't really like that about the box, but, you know, other than that, the box looks pretty good. Except for, eh, eh, yeah, but I just really like the way it looks. And Mewtwo's always been one of my favorite Pokemon. Coming at the number six spot, we have a somewhat newer one, the Red Goblin from Marvel. I have no idea who this is. And like what movie or sh whatever Marvel did. All I know is that I think it looks really cool. And it's a 2020 Fall Convention Limited Edition. And I got this at the mall. And uh, I also have never looked at the back of that. It says Red Death. Huh. I don't like the Red Death. But I do like him. He looks pretty cool. Coming at the number 5 spot. We have Crash Bandicoot in his car. Yeah. The, the only thing I really don't like... Oh, there's dust on there. <laughs> the only thing I really don't like about this one is the price tag. They definitely should not have made this $30. It should be like $20. But uh, I'm not... See, I'm not... I don't make the prices. Oh, I, what the heck is that? That... That's not nice. I do not like that. I really care about the, the way the box looks. That's who I am. And, uh, yeah, I don't really like that and that a little bit but eh, it's all right coming in at the number four spot we have evil cuphead i loved cuphead i played it uh with my cousin first and beat it and then by myself and let me tell you what playing it i was gonna say playing it by myself is a lot easier but actually i don't know because when you die in multiplayer you could just try to revive the other person i do have almost every cuphead one and this is by far the most creative one, in my opinion, and just the most best looking, in my opinion, too. I really like how they made him, like, his eyes look really cool and his, you know, his head's on fire or whatever. And he's holding that straw thing. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed that. I do not like, do not like that. But, um, yeah, I just really like the figure. Coming in at the number three spot, we have one that's, uh... I think a few years old i think we have robin as red x uh unmasked this is a bam exclusive and i think uh 
I really like this one because I, I used to watch Teen Titans Go a lot as a kid, and I really like the episode where they, you know, pretended to be superheroes or whatever. Villains, I think, not superheroes. And he was the Red X. I also have the one on the back. I have this one where he was Red X with the mask on, but I like the mask off more. I also, I have all those, but uh, yeah, this one is my favorite. And uh, yeah, I really like the way they made him look. Really looks a lot like the TV sh the TV episode. Coming in at the number two spot, I honestly can't even believe I had got this. I got this only a week ago, and I've wanted this ever since it came out, but I could never find it. And that is the 10-inch Pikachu figure. And let me tell you what, I did have to pay a little bit more for this. I think I paid $55. However, everything about the box looks pretty good. Looks pretty good condition. And uh, Pikachu... He's, eh, I never really thought of him as one of my favorite Pokemon, but I just really, I, I really like the way he looks in not only just the games, but the figure as well. Oh, eh, not really that much on the back, but, uh, but yeah, he takes the number two spot on my list. And, uh, before we get into the number one spot, only about 49% of my viewers that watch my videos are subscribed. Please, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. It's free and you can literally unsubscribe whenever you want. It helps me out so much. And uh, yeah, let's get into the number one spot. In the number one spot. Not only is it my favorite pop figure, it comes from one of my favorite TV shows. And it was my first pop figure that I ever started to collect. I did get a few before this, but I never started to collect them until I got this one. And that is, drum roll please. Gene Belcher from Bob's Burgers. I got this one a few years ago, and let me tell you what, I really like how they made him holding his little keyboard. He uses that a lot in the show, and I just really, really like how they designed this one. Sadly, I, I had a chance to get all of them when they came out. I only got Gene, but I did only get him for like $12, and now he's worth like 45 50 something like that and just a few like maybe a month and a half ago i got louise too but i'm trying to get the whole family my dad has the whole family but uh yeah gene belcher takes the number one spot so that was my list on my top 10 favorite pop figures that i own and yeah i don't really have any honorable mentions besides the one that i mentioned at the beginning that i don't have is teddy and uh yeah Hopefully, the pop figure collection video will be coming soon. However, I do have uh, uh, I got a couple, couple pop figures. Got a little bit over 170. So yeah, that, that's a little bit over a couple, I guess. But anyways, if you guys want to see that video, let me know in the in the uh, the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye bye.